I have written down the variables we know. This is 40 plus 0 0.6 because the car is 40, the hump is 40, but the car is an additional 0 0.6 off the ground. So that is the actual radius for the car. So what we are missing is acceleration. We need acceleration because we're gonna use normal tangential to solve we use normal tangential to solve for a n sorry we solve for we solve for a we solve for normal acceleration so we solve for the normal acceleration then we start then we take that and we solve for a n of hump b because so we have this but then we don't know what the radius of curvature of this hump b is so we know a b is upside down we don't know it so we're going to take the acceleration from when we do know it we're going to find this variable because the equation is where is the equation we know that the equation is a squared equals a n squared plus a squared. a squared. Okay. So we're going to solve for this because we know that this is just the normal acceleration. It's like this is the acceleration that we would get, like constant acceleration. This is actually. A very, uh, it has its own formula, which is v squared over radius. Yep. Yeah. So, but we know v, so we need to solve for, and we know, we will know this from this equation. So we're going to solve for this. And from there, we're going to subtract minus 0 0.6 to get back to just P, B, okay? So our first step is going to be to use, uh, because, because acceleration is constant as it increases uniformly, the, the, the velocity, we can assume constant acceleration, okay? so const excel so we can use the formula v equals v o plus constant acceleration times time okay the acceleration at the bottom is 27.29 Sorry, 79. 27.79 meters per second. We converted from kilometers per hour for this equation to work. And then initial is 13.81. Plus, we don't know acceleration, but we do know that time is 10. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to change this to a t because constant acceleration, or not a t, but a, whatever, the, whatever this symbol is because we know that that's ex constant acceleration. So we get 1.39 meters per second squared. I totally did that in my head. Boom, okay, okay. So now we can use this formula. So A, sorry, we need to find radius first, but I already did that up here, but I'll just show. So P, the radius, P is the radius of A equals 40 plus 0 0.6. Bam, okay. Uh, it's a pretty big calculation, but I'm gonna guess it's 40.6. And then that's meters. Okay, so normal tangential. So this is calculating the total acceleration of Okay, so 
a squared equals a n squared plus a underscore two. So we know that a squared is what we're solving for. And then a n, a n is actually v squared over over radius, pa. And so I don't forget, I'm just going to square all of this because the term is squared. Okay, so v squared over pa all squared a t squared. Okay, so a squared is equal to velocity of a is 13.81. 13.81 squared over 40.6 whole squared. Plus, we already solved for this. This is just 1.39. Okay. So this ends up with A is equal to 4.95 meters per second squared. Bam. Now we're going to take this and go back up here and we're going to solve for XL normal at B, at the curve. So this is going to be the same formula, but this time we're solving for AN at B. So this was A the whole time. Now we're going to solve for AN at B. Okay, so A squared equals a and b plus a t. a t. So this this stays. A t and a are always the same. This changes because this is due to the curvature. So we can put in 4.95 squared is equal to a and b squared throughout the squareds plus, what was that again, 1.39 squared. So this gives us A and B is equal to 4.75 meters per second squared. Great, so now from here we can use that formula again. What A and B is equal to equals V squared over radius of B, which is what we're solving for. This is good. So. We know that 0.75 is equal to the final velocity was 27.79 squared over, we don't know this radius, but we do know that you have to subtract 0 0.6 from it to go backwards from the radius. So you know how we added 0 0.6 here? We have to get rid of it to find the actual radius of curvature. So minus 0 0.6. So this gives us PB minus 0 0.6 is equal to 27.79 squared over 4.75. Radius of curvature of B is equal to 163.1 meter. Bam.